so grip yourself a sheet probably big enough to wrap around the whole pencil length once or twice so here's a good one for that Okay. Then see how long your pencil is in comparison to the sheet. So something around that. So I'll rip mine down here. Doesn't have to be an exact line. I just happen to be one. Uh I'll save this sheet. It might come up to be useful at another time. And uh Start by taking the pencil, putting it at the edge of the foil, and put it up nicely against the edge. Try to make it as tight on top of the pencil as possible. You don't want it to be loose or slide off. So I'm rolling that nice and tight. And now that you got a good grip on that, you can just roll it like that. Alright, and you, you end up with a, a long piece of foil a long piece of pencil covered in foil. And, um, I think it should be, like, airtight or something, so where the eraser is, I'm just going to pinch that closed, because I'm not going to use that part, so that doesn't matter. And, I don't know, press down or do whatever you want. I just smushed it closed. Give it a good grinding on the table to make sure that it stays closed. And then, uh, for this part, Pretty sure this part has to be. This is going to be the stylus part, the tip, and there's like a half of inch of extra foil hanging off the tip. So I'll just cut a little bit of it, of it off. You want to be able to cover the whole thing. So yeah, this is good. I folded mine over like that. And you just keep pressing that down until you get it around. There you go. We'll try to get this, because this part, the stylus part, the tip, you're going to want that to be as flat as possible. So, when you fold it over, make sure you fold it off to the side, not just like over the tip, like we did here. Because you're going to end up grinding it against a, a flat surface to make it as smooth as possible. Okay, as for the tape, well it's starting to lose its grip, so I'm going to tighten the foil around the whole pencil again. I'm going to tape down the whole edge over the foils open so it's closed. I don't know, you gotta estimate the length of the tape. That's good. Mine goes right over here. Like this. That sucks. Mine wraps all the way around. Okay. Put that on. And, um, having the whole thing taped is also okay, which is what I did with this one, and it works just fine. In fact, it feels better on your hands when you use it, so I'm going to go ahead and just make the whole thing covered in tape. So here we go. Get that last side. I didn't make it long enough, I'll have to do another piece. Okay, so you wrap that on there. And wrap a little one around the end right here. This is the eraser side, just so you know. The eraser side right there. Wrap that closed. Because I'm not using the tip, my hands probably won't be up there. I'm not gonna really bother to make it look nice up there. I'm just gonna tip the very I'm gonna tip the very tip of it to make sure it stays closed. Okay, there you go. So this is the back. You won't be using that as the stylus. And this is the stylus part. So what you're going to do is... Just... You're going to want it to be as smooth as possible. Like you can probably see the difference between the good one and the bad one. So you'll slide it on a table. Like that. It it does leave a mark. Pretty sure it goes away if you wipe it, so don't grind it on anything. 
that you put on keeping in great condition and these little scratch marks. I don't really care though. So keep grinding. Alright, it's getting smoother. Go a little harder. Try to get around the, the edges too. I want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, so here we go. 